Hi everyone, this is Dave from geekanoids.co.uk and this is my review of the HTC Tattoo mobile phone. Now, this is an unlocked version, it's not on contract and this is what you get inside the packaging. You obviously get the, the handset itself, which we'll come back to in a short while. You also get a USB cable, this can be used for either charging uh, and or synchronising data um, and graphics, photos, etc. from your device onto your computer. You also get a hands-free uh, headset here with a little push-to-talk uh, capsule built into the, the line-in. And it's, it's not bad quality, it's not the best, but it certainly does the job. Then we get a charger, and on one end we've got a connection for that USB cable for charging the handset and on this end of the device you've got a multi connector and you would connect the appropriate adapter for your country. Now we're in the UK so we get a three pin UK plug and that just uh, clips on to the charger like so and then if you need to release it to change it for another country adapter then you just push the button there and it pops back off again. Now onto this handset itself and this is an Android based handset and what I mean by that is that it runs Google's Android operating system. It's currently running version 1.6 and uh, it's a very nice uh, operating system for a mobile phone. I've been using an HTC Magic for some time now and uh, I've been very happy with it indeed. Now before I give you a tour around this phone I just want to show you some size comparisons. Now this is an HTC Magic, a uh, slightly bigger screen, uh, we've got 3.2 inch screen on here as opposed to a 2.8 inch screen, obviously a lot physically a lot larger as well and on here we've got this rollable type control and on here although this looks like a rollable it's actually a four way rocker switch so no rollable on, on the HTC Tattoo and then depth wise it's round about the same, I'd say that they're, they're almost identical really. And then obviously if I place them one on top of the other you get an idea of how much bigger the Magic is to the HTC Tattoo. And then I've got a couple of other handsets here which are new to the market. I've got a Motorola Dex and as you can see again the Dex screen is very slightly larger and the handset is more or less, if, if I just pop this to this side, the Dex is more or less the same as the Magic and of course the Tattoo, the smallest of the three. And I've got one more handset here which is a Sony Ericsson Satio and again the screen's a lot larger. If I place them all on their side you can see they're all round about the same thickness um, but certainly out of all of these current handsets the HTC Tattoo is definitely the most compact of these four. So, back to the HTC Tattoo, and as well as that 2.8 inch screen, I should mention it runs at 240 by 320. Around the back of the handset, we've got a 3.2 megapixel camera. Built into the handset, we've got GPS and Bluetooth, which supports A2DP stereo, so you can have a wireless stereo headset. It's also got Wi Fi in it. If I pop the back off, and this is where the battery is housed. I'm not going to take it out because the handset is powered up at the moment. But this battery is an 1100 milliamp hour battery. And I've been using this handset for about two weeks now. And that's been good on a full charge. I've been getting two days between charges. Around this side, once that battery covers off, you can pop a micro SD card in here. Now my SIM free handset which cost around about £270 or $400 in the US comes with a 2 gigabyte SD card. Uh, so, but you can add a micro SD card up to sort of 16 or 32 gigabytes if you so wish. Let's pop this back on. Oops, I'll put that on. It sort of goes on round about there and then just pushes down the rest of the way. Side of the handset, I'll just quickly show you. We've got a rocker switch here for the volume up and down. Top of the handset, you'll be glad to see standard 3.5mm 
headphone jack for earphones. This side of the handset's completely clear. And then the base of the handset, we've got that little microphone slot there. And then the uh, uh, mini USB uh, socket here for charging and synchronizing the device. The back of the speaker, just to this side of the camera here, um, this is uh, one of the, uh, this is the speaker output for the phone. And you get fairly decent speaker output. It's not too bad at all. Now the user interface, if I turn the handset on, first of all you're just presented with this uh, Sense UI which you swipe down and then you can either set an unlock pattern or not. Uh, I'm not hiding mine so it's not really that secure but you just move that gesture across to whatever you've set it to and then you're presented with the home screen. Now within this home screen you can create shortcuts uh, and widgets and you can add them to the home screen. I've got shortcuts for my Gmail inbox, camera, browser, mail, messages, and my starred contacts. I've also got a clock here showing the weather and my current location. Uh, you get a status bar up the top here, which is showing I've got some emails at the moment. If I pull that down, then I, can, I get shortcuts to my notifications, and these could be messages. In this case, it's showing me I've got a new email or it could be a text message, and then I can clear those notifications if I so wish. Um, this little uh, soft key button here takes you into your main menu system, scrolls up and down very nicely. I'll pop into YouTube just to show you how YouTube works. And it's loading this via Wi-Fi. As you can see, I've got a Wi-Fi connection up here. And um, let's just uh, pop on whatever's come up as featured, just to give you an idea of how the playback performs. Now, I don't think that that's too bad. Volume's good. Okay, I didn't think that's too bad at all. Now, YouTube playback, a lot of people have been asking me this on, uh, on the comments section of my videos are these HTC handsets as good for YouTube and video playback as the iPhone? This particular one is very near to the capability of the iPhone. Um, I wouldn't say it's quite as good experience, but it's certainly, I mean, you're watching a YouTube video, it's more for the entertainment value rather than the actual video quality. And I think with YouTube, it's, it's acceptable. When you're dragging across video files onto that SD card for playback, then I would say that yes, it is definitely as good as the iPhone. I should also mention that HTC also have this uh, Sense UI, which is sort of overlaid on top of the normal Google Android software. Now, if you've got a, a sort of what I would say a bog standard Google Android experience, you'd only have three home screens. But with this, I've got two to the left and then a further two to the right, which I can customize with widgets of my choice. And it works very well. There's certainly no uh, lag that I can see switching between home screens. Uh, it performs very well. And considering it's only got a 528 megahertz processor, I think that performs more than adequately for day-to-day -day use. The actual hardware buttons down the bottom here are a nice metal, uh, so it's, it certainly feels a nice quality handset. We've got a hard button for going back to this home screen that I'm on now. We've got the button that you can push to get into your menu system. We've got a back button, a search button, call start and end button. The end button also turns the handset on and off. And then you've got this four-way rocker switch as well. I think it works very well. I like the HTC Tattoo a lot. If I had a choice, I would probably choose something with a slightly bigger screen, but that's just personal preference. But for the run of the mill, Joe Public, who's okay with a 2.8 inch screen, this handset does actually perform very well indeed. The things I like about it, two day battery life, absolutely fantastic. GPS, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, absolutely fantastic as well. I like the way it integrates with my Google Mail so I can keep a check on my emails throughout the day. This is the HTC Tattoo. Costs £270 SIM free in the UK, $400 in the US. Thanks very much for listening. This has been Dave from geekanoids.co.uk.
This video review is sponsored by ProPorter.com who design and manufacture a whole host of accessories for your mobile devices including PDAs and smartphones, MP3 players and iPods, laptops, GPS devices and gaming units.